Colonel Edgar Stansbury has been many things in his nearly 100 years of life. Student, athlete, teacher, coach, colonel, and businessman. Where to begin such a lengthy tale? He came to the hill in the mid-twenties from the Shepherdsville area, a three-sport athlete playing for E.A. Diddle. Well, the, the, the difference, I think, is Mr. Diddle. Because he was athletics at Western when I was there. As a coach, he was tough, really tough. I was his assistant for about nine years, one of the kindest people I ever worked for in my life, absolutely. But as a coach, he was really tough. And uh, you pick that stuff up, you know, you live it, and it stays with you in both spheres, both as an as a assistant and as a, as a, a player. You knew, you knew the faculty. You knew when you were going to class. You knew we were going to have a date. And somehow or another, you knew all this about us. He was something, absolutely. Colonel Stansbury earned three varsity letters in each sport and was an all-state performer in football and basketball. Then the pace began to pick up in the late 1920s with athletes like Ed Stansbury, uh, Arnold Winkenhofer. So uh, he, he was one of, the, uh, one of the outstanding athletes in the early days of, uh, of Coach Diddle's uh, tenure. Stansbury graduated in 1930 and spent time teaching in Lancaster, Kentucky, where he met and married his wife, Edith. The call of the hill was strong, so he returned in 1934 as an assistant coach in football and basketball and three seasons as tennis coach. One of his former players remembers him quite well. Uh, we got to know uh, Ed Stansberry when he would come to Horse Cave to referee basketball games. And then my brother Alec graduated in 37, came to Western. And, uh, I started coming to the campus because he was here on the Western basketball team. And uh, then in 1939, when I graduated from high school, uh, Mr. Diddle and Mr. Stansberry were among the big reasons that uh, I chose Western. And from the time my sophomore year in high school, and that goes back a ways, uh, we've been early on, I'd say associated, but then for almost 70 years, treasured friends and uh, have great respect, admiration, and love for him. During his tenure at Western, Coach Stansbury ran up a total of 234 victories against only 47 losses and five ties. He was called to active duty in 1942 and so began his military career. But the story doesn't end there. You know, he was right at the verge of uh, completing the requirements for his PhD when in World War II, he was en route uh, to Europe and crossing the Atlantic on a troop ship. And uh, it was torpedoed and sunk. And he spent uh, uh, two, maybe three days there in lifeboat before uh, he was picked up. Uh, he and comrades who were able to get on the lifeboat. Following the war, Stansbury came back to Western as director of athletics. In mid-1948, the Air Force called, and he returned to active duty until he retired as a colonel in 1961. He then spent several years in business in St. Petersburg, Florida, but as time has gone by, his love for Western has only grown stronger. Well, I think it's, it comes from the leadership at Western. Dr. Cherry talked, spoke a lot about the spirit. And when he first talked, talked about that, you wonder what he's talking about. But as time goes on, you begin to realize what he's talking about. He's talking about all the things I just mentioned. The administration, the faculty, the student body, all of this over a period of time does something to you. It makes a different person out of you. And it gives you a feeling of being part of Western forever, wherever you go. You never lose it, never, never lose it. And I've been in many places, you never forget about Western. 
Through scholarships in English, athletics, and education, Colonel Stansberry and his wife Edith have continued their support for the university. To honor those contributions, the second floor concourse of E.A. Diddle Arena has been named the Colonel Edgar B. Stansbury Concourse. Here is a man who embodies the motto, the spirit makes the master. 2005 Hall of Distinguished Alumni Inductee, Colonel Edgar Stansbury.